Today I found out a rich Japanese billionaire is fascinated by me. This is Japan's richest man Tadashi Yane, founder of UniQLO. He's fascinated by failure. Me uncovering who keeps ruining my life. My grandfather in the 1960s. But his humor was ahead of his time. Trash, that's where I belong. Life is like a box of chocolates. And I got that gross dark chocolate with the orange flavor in the middle. Show those haters how it's done by hating yourself most. Them, do you take constructive criticism? Me, already crying. Sure, what's up? Sure. I made mistakes when I was younger. But now that I'm older and have learned how to make different. Often far more serious mistakes. Ever accidentally throw something away and then later realize you actually needed it? How I did this with my life. Me as a detective walking up to look at a dead body. Okay first of all I wish this was me. I'm at a really low point right now but the good news is that the worst is still ahead. Me. I'm so funny I love myself. Anxiety, if you're so funny then why are you on your own tonight? Me acting shocked after I ruined my own happiness through the same self-destructive behavior I've been repeating my whole life. Me as a fish. Unfortunately, this small Japanese puffer fish is dull. Almost to the point of invisibility. How can you face your problem if your problem is your face? I like it when I'm in a happy mood and people think it's the real me. Nope, it's the other one. Slowly rises from trash can, while two friends are making plans without me. I'm also free that day. I just screamed I'll hate myself and two minutes later I hear my little brother sliding this note under my door. I hate myself too. Me. Four years ago, the internet isn't your diary sweetie. Me now. What's up Twitter today I cried in a Denny's bathroom. Me. I'm a very private person you need to really know me before I actually open up. Me to hundreds of strangers online. Anyway I'm horny and suicidal. Me watching my life go up in flames from poor decision making. Procrastination and self-sabotage. When you're clingy and distant at the same time and don't know how to express your emotions properly. Me. Ruins my own life again because of my depression and self-destructive tendencies. Me. Someone. Genuinely cares about my self-destructive ass. Me. Healthy alternatives aren't nearly as satisfying as my self-destructive habits are. Having a crush on someone is so exciting. You know you'll end up ruining things like you always do. But how? The possibilities are endless. How are you single? LMA are you about to find out just hang tight buddy. Adolescence versus adulthood. Who am I? I'm a monster. Me. Looking back at my numerous breakdowns throughout the year. Watches Netflix happily. Remembers homework. Exams. Responsibilities. Watches Netflix stressfully. You ever been so happy that you find a way to self-sabotage cause it all feels too right? That's the worst. I've got 99 problems and 98 of them can be attributed to poor time management and self-control. I hate when Netflix pauses and asks me if I'm still watching like yeah you actually think I got up and started to do something with my life. The only multitasking I'm good at is fucking more than one thing up at a time. <laughs>